Hello, it is Sunday, fun day, February 25th, 2018. Still continuing the birthday weekend celebration of my beautiful wife, Michelle. And we have the rhino of the day is this rhino earring. So check that out, the old rhino earring. Don't know what it's made of or whatever, uh, but there you go. Rhino of the day, and that is not the birthday gift that I gave to my beautiful wife, Michelle. Not a rhino earring. Anyway, so I just noticed on the news, I saw like, oh, the Winter Olympics are over. Hey, Jim. And I was like, wow, that makes sense. I guess it's been a couple of weeks. It's a thing. I can't uh, move out the comment to clear the screen. But okay. Uh, I see the people are coming on board. Thank you. Um, wow. You know, I used to, when I was a kid, I mean, I used to watch all the Olympics and then we used to. I mean, get up and, and watch them in the middle of the night on a tape delay, and you would think that now, that I think the thing's on, if it's on NBC, it's on a million channels. NBC has, you know, uh, I forget. But those those of you that watch the Olympics would know all the different channels. You can watch all the different heats or events or all the obscure things and all the main things. Of course, the main primetime things are, they focus on the popular uh, performances, which are not really sports, things like uh, figure skating, curling, that kind of stuff, uh, fun performances and full of drama and athleticism, but not really sports. But anyway, uh, not a big fan of the Winter Olympics. Uh, one reason is I'm an American. American, we're not big in the Winter Olympics. We probably came in somewhere, you know, un unfort undoubtedly not number one. I saw a week ago, like Norway was leading. I think Norway has the most Olympic medals of all time. It's uh, there. You ever seen where Norway is? Norway is like in a land covered with ice, like way up north. So they do all those Nordic events. And uh, we do not. Uh, we'll excel in the Summer Olympics. Maybe I'll catch some of those, but maybe not. I mean, I saw that uh, on that news report this morning that the ratings were down 24%, the TV ratings in the U.S. were down 24%. That's an amazing uh, percentage, and I am representative of that, as many Americans must be that are just sick and tired of all the BS politics uh, going on. I mean, there's always been politics in the Olympics, you know, from uh, Jesse Owens showing up Hitler and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and like, uh, Israelis being killed as hostages in the Olympic, you know, there's all, and the, oh, and the, you know, we're pulling out of the Olympics, the USSR is pulling out, or the Miracle on Ice, or, you know, there's always been that kind of drama, but now it's the individual athletes spouting off their nonsense proclamations like, oh, you know, I don't really represent all Americans, uh, you know, just if I like them, and things like that, just totally ridiculous. So I tuned out. Wonder if you watched anybody here? Let me know. But uh, I managed to survive the entire two weeks without watching a single second of any event. Uh, my beautiful wife Michelle and I watched the beginning of the opening ceremonies. We fell asleep like halfway through. It was kind of really nothing to it, if I remember. Uh, it wasn't uh, as involved as they usually are in the beginning. But of course, we fell asleep, so we didn't see the ending with the lighting of the torch or fireworks or I don't know whatever would go on. And. Uh, the two weeks is up and it's gone. So uh, that's it. Just here on Sunday Fun Day saying hello, checking in as always. No really business tip involved. You can see in the background another spectacularly beautiful sunset happening here in Arizona. Uh, I will be back with some business building advice on Direct Mail Monday tomorrow. I got some pieces to share out of the mailbox. Some updates on some ongoing campaigns. It's always a fun and informative and educational and interesting and uh, and uh, entertaining day on Direct Mail Monday. Thanks for everyone being here today, and I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Bye-bye.